have the castaway key. This is the closest we've been to the ship since we got on. And it is huge. And we learned yesterday on our walking tour that this color is not black. It's Monica Blue, if you can believe it. Ready for a great day! We decided to take the walking path over to Castaway Beach um, because we wanted to see some of the sights and the water along the way, but you can take the tram if you'd prefer to do a little less walking and get to the beach a little bit sooner than everyone else. Welcome to Serenity Bay. We, I thought we were gonna be here late, but there is no one on this half of the beach. And it's super quiet. I'm so excited for this day. We found a great set of chairs and we're ready for a great relaxing day. We did a little shopping already. So if you do forget a beach bag or you need one, we just needed an extra place to put a few things plus the stuff we bought. So these recyclable totes are like $1.50 at the shop. So we did our shopping, got on the tram, and now we're going to relax. We were hunting for seashells and found a tiny little crab in this one. This is the perfect seashell, but we're going to put him back in the water. Oh no, and my glasses too. <laughs> Bye crab. How does one feel about the crab level here at Castaway Key? Castaway Key. It says you K. Can, you, know, you can say both ways, but it is key. It is pronounced key. Disney pronounces it key. Anyways, With a C-A-Y? It's key. Yes, you are allowed to pronounce it both ways, but Disney chooses to pronounce it key. Incorrectly, gotcha. No. It, how do you feel about the crowd level now that it's, what, probably close probably to like 10.30? 10.30-ish. Definitely a lot more people than an hour ago, so it was nice that we got here early, we chose our spot, and it was very peaceful. It's still very peaceful. Look, a pelican! Look at that! That's awesome. So people are, people are still coming in. And that side of the beach is definitely less crowded at the moment still. So we are, might get an inner tube after lunch and just float float around. We did have a lot of people ask us if we wanted stuff to drink this morning. Like a lot of people ask us if we wanted stuff to drink this seven, morning. Seven times total. Uh, which, and they were all very nice. They're doing their job, trying to be helpful and, and give us a great service. But we said no thank you. We're going to save maybe some drinking for later. Plus we had just had breakfast and and John brought some his own beer, so. John, yes, John has one of one or two of his six beers that he bought, so he needs to start working on this. <laughs> one down. So this is the whole um, Serenity Bay barbecue area. We have lots of picnic tables with lots of shade, and this is open from 11.30 to 2. At least it is on our cruise. That might change when you come, but I think that's a pretty standard time. So the tram will drop you off right here, and then you've got a couple forks in the road. If you go right, it'll take you to Serenity Bay. Go left and it'll bring you behind the um, bar so you can get some drinks up there, or they will service you on the beach if you'd like. And then your rentals are up here in your little beach shack, and then another fork in the road to the left, that is your barbecue area. So. It's all right here. It's not far to walk at all. They do have lots of rentals up here. Like you can see, they've got the um, wheelchairs for the beach. They've got bikes, floats, tubes, and then I think you can maybe get other things on the family beach. But that's what they've got here. And we noticed that they actually have strings all across the top of the barbecue area to try to help keep some of those birds out from stealing all of your yummy food. So we've noticed that a few times actually on the ship too found that interesting but this is Serenity Bay and they have live music at the bar right now we're having a great day lunchtime and I've got a cheeseburger corn on the cob some chips I think this is like a tom uh, not tomato um, a Greek salad with feta cheese so we'll see how that is got a tiny bit of fruit although I'd like to go back and get more and then they had cookies and brownies which we're gonna we're gonna make a second round John got a couple of cheeseburgers, some corn, and barbecue chips, and I got 
Coke. And he got blue Powerade. So we're going to enjoy our beach buffet, which we have been looking forward to all morning. Go back all and get some morning. barbecue after. <laughs> get some barbecue after. John and I both had the same idea. Get two chocolate chip cookies, put some ice cream in between, and make a cookie sandwich. Our ice cream sandwich didn't go as planned. Kind of smushed out the sides. But it still tasted good. But it still tasted good, and John still got another ice cream cone. But we did get there right at 11.30, which is when they opened today, and they were handing out hand sanitizer wipes before we went in. Some of the stuff was still served, but most of it was self-served. But it was nice and quiet, still in the adults-only section. I just think that this buffet is smaller because it serves a smaller area of people here on Serenity Bay. So I'm gonna go re relax some more. If you were wondering how many chairs come under an umbrella, you'll get your two loungers, um, and then you'll get the two chairs that you can pull up to the water, which lots of people have done today. So if you're a family of four, this might be the perfect setup for you, or you might wanna grab um, some chairs to the left and the right, because it seems like every other seating has an umbrella. So you can grab a couple more chairs and get those if you need them. Um, I'm sure on the family side, this is the same setup, but just wanted to share how many we're in our little zone. It's very breezy, so hopefully you can hear, but this is where we got the tram to Serenity Bay, and then you can also take the tram all the way back to the ship from there, so you'll get dropped off um, and picked up here, whether you're going to Serenity Bay or back to the ship. Right next to that is one of the shops, so we did a little browsing in there, but we did some shopping at one that was further up the pathway. There's an Olaf Freezy Stop, and then you can kind of see the dream through those palm trees there. This is the pathway that we took from the ship, but then if you veer that way, you'll see the family beach area. Bike rentals are just around here all kinds of things and not too far from where I was just standing is Pelican Point so you can see some of the water slides out there um, and just some of the fun water activities for our kids of all ages which includes adults so lots more chairs there on the uh, on the family side of the beach but still looks very beautiful and again there's a little peek of the dream through through this palm tree right there and when I said there were definitely more chairs on this side, I meant it. So this goes all the way down the beach and then it continues on the other side, which is great for everyone on board. And right now we are not at full capacity, so you'll see a lot of empty chairs. I think they said we're at about 2,000 passengers, maybe a little over. And the ship can hold, I think, around 4,000. So we're definitely not full capacity, plenty of space to spread out. So there you go. Earlier I talked about how they had water um, rentals, not toys, but some rentals over on Serenity Bay. They definitely have a lot more over here. So you've got Hobie Cats, you've got like the water tricycle bike, um, all of your life vests are over here. They did have some at Serenity Bay as well and you cannot go snorkeling without a life vest and all of the good snorkeling with cool stuff that is in the water is over here on the family beach. So we will have to check that out next time because the water was still a little chilly today. It was a great day on Serenity Bay and here at Castaway Key, not K. <laughs> but if we have to leave, I guess we're still excited to go back on the Disney Dream. Definitely excited for dinner. Ooh and more food and more fun. We're now back on the ship and we've both showered and we wanted a little snack because we still have a few hours before dinner. So we're taking advantage of the room service that is included with the cost of our cruise. So tonight we got a little cheese board. So it's got some purple grapes, some water crackers. We got extra cheddar cheese because we don't prefer blue cheese. So they subbed that out for us, no problem. It's got Baby Bell, this is Brie. This might be Gouda. 
I'm not the best at identifying cheeses, to be honest. And this looks like it is definitely Swiss. It's got some holes um, that are hidden back in there. So that looks really good. John just ran upstairs um, to the pool deck to get us some drinks. And then we're going to sit outside and just enjoy the view of Castaway Key as we sail away and have some yummy snacks. And leave it to Jonathan to not only come back with our refillable mugs that we brought, he came back with french fries. He made a pit stop at Flo's V8 Cafe. I do what I can for the people. They do have very good french fries. So I guess we're having cheese and crackers and fries. Yeah, we got four hours till dinner, all right? Yes. I'm realistic here. And we heard the horn, which means we are officially sailing away from Castaway Key. I don't know if I've had much face time on this vlog today, but hello. While we sit out here and enjoy our snack, um, we thought about how we couldn't find a room service menu physically in our room, so we thought like it had been misplaced or something like that. But it is now available in the Disney Navigator app. So I'll put up on this side of the screen a recording of how we got to it. So go to the home screen and then you go to the explore tab at the bottom. And then it looks like there's um, your plans for the day and character experiences, but that actually slides over. So slide over to see dining um, and lounges. And then you scroll all the way to the bottom to find room service. And from there, you'll be able to see the current room service menu. Um, you still have to call on your stateroom phone to place that order. And I'm sure you can make adjustments like we did. We said no blue cheese and they gave us extra cheddar. So you can make those adjustments over the phone. But that's how you get to the room service menu if you are a little lost and looking for it like we were. We're almost ready to head out for the evening and it is pirate night tonight. We did not buy any um, special pirate gear or bring any outfits for this evening. Um, and in fact, I was a little confused as to whether or not they were going to have a pirate night. I know that the actual show that happened pre-pandemic, um, I think that had been put on pause or it wasn't happening but the fireworks were happening I'm not exactly sure but there are fireworks tonight and it does sound like there is going to be some kind of a show maybe not the exact same one we'll just have to see what happens later on this evening so I am expecting that we do have a pirate theme for the evening though because I already hear the pirate music going on um, our servers told us there would be a pirate theme menu so at least those things are definitely happening tonight here on our castaway key day so we are ex excited and interested to see how that all is going to play out so we're having our pirates night menu um, served to us at royal palace so it will not be the traditional royal palace menu all of the uh, dining rotation restaurants are changing over to this one singular menu. So that's what's going on tonight. And actually, I thought of something. So as we boarded the ship back, when we got back on board from Castaway Key, we had to scan our key to the world card twice. And it's perfectly fine if you don't have your um, driver's license or your passport or whatever it might be. Your key to the world card will serve just fine. Um, they didn't even ask us for any extra identification. We saw it on a sign as soon as we got off the ship and I kind of panicked a little bit because we did not bring our IDs off off onto Castaway Key with us, but all was well. But anyways, when we came back in, we scanned those cards and then we went through um, a quick little metal detector and then a scanner of all of the bags that we had with us. And so both of our bags passed just fine. But on the other side of the belt, I saw that there was um, some confiscated items, including a conch shell um, and two or three large starfish that were at one, one point live. So please, if you see starfish in the ocean, just look. Please don't touch. Please don't bring them back with you. They're, they're not going to make it home. They're definitely going to be taken away because those were live at some point. And I know that with starfish, I think the longer they are out of the water, the less likely they have to live. So I don't know if those were able to be put back or not, but I was kind of sad 
um, to see that. I know it's very exciting to see such a beautiful little treasure or little gem like that out in the wild, but just leave it where it's meant to be. Starfish and conch shells are not gonna make it with you. We've been to some of the other bars and some of the adult exclusive areas and decided to come here to the Bon Voyage bar, which is an atrium. We've got some snacks here, and I got the Honey Bubbles Moscato. It's got raspberries, ice, and blueberries inside. And we're waiting on John's wine, and he got a sommelier's choice, so it's a mystery wine. So we'll see what he gets. Surprise! He got a Pinot Noir, and he picked it out! <laughs> They did not have. I, it was interesting. Thank you. Thank you. It was interesting. They did not have. Um, they said they didn't have the Smalley's choice at that bar. So we think they just didn't know what it was. So yeah. So we it. just came to the pub. We got more snacks, and we're here for 90s music trivia. So hopefully we crush this one. We is Paige carries the team because it's not. John I'm gonna carry the team. Backstreet Boys are back. It's all right. No, you say all right. Suspect. <laughs> we'll debrief our trivia experience later, but we're at Royal Palace, and instead of putting these in our state rooms, which I know they used to do, they put them um, at your table now. So we've got some bread. It's a Johnny Cake cornbread with a mango dipping sauce. And all of the crew is in their pirate attire as well, so I imagine that we will be doing something with these. We have heard from other uh, folks who had an earlier dinner seating time that it was quite an experience. So we're going to see what that is. <laughs> oh, and here's our bread that I was just talking about. Looks really good. So does the dipping sauce. We both got the strip loin. He brought some extra carrots because he knew I liked those from the night before. Um, John's got the Yorkshire pudding on his and I just have, if you can see, I just have the green beans and potatoes. It's a little rarer than I wanted, so I think we might send it back and just get it a little bit more, but it does look good. John has drawn the curtain closed, but here is our cute little bear for the evening. And tomorrow during our day at sea, they have a class where you can learn how to fold towel animals or just towel design. So we might attend that one and have some fun. But you can see that the bear is holding something and that there are a couple more of those here. And then we've got a letter in addition to our gold coins for pirate night. So that one, this one says dead men tell no tales. But this letter is outlining uh, gratuity. So it sounds like um, what's happened here is they have added gratuities on our behalf for each of the crew members that was really a special part of our vacation. So we have our server, our assistant server, head server, and our stateroom host. So I like that the bear is holding that one, which I think is really cute. We're kind of trying to decipher the letter a little bit. Maybe it's just because we had a lot of sun today. We're a little tired, a little giddy after a very energetic pirate dinner. So we're going to debrief this a little bit more and we'll get back to you on it. But on the back of this uh, piece of cardstock, there are different, there's actually perforated lines across all of it. It's really difficult to see. But what you're supposed to do is rip this off, put it inside the envelope, and then give it to um, that individual, I guess, sometime tomorrow or 
on the last day if you know you're going to see them then. So we're going to go to guest services and clarify all of that. Um, you can still add gratuities on top of whether it's a recommendation or the requirement. I'm not sure. So like I said, we're going to get clarification. But for now, we're just going to admire this cute little bear and get ready for the Pirate Night fireworks. But to quickly recap the experience of Pirate Night and trivia, trivia at 687 Pub was packed and it was very intense. I did not realize that people were so serious on vacation about trivia. I knew that like trivia nights at bars, you know, locally or wherever, people get really into it, but I, I just really didn't know that people wanted the winning Mickey medals that said, that just say, I won trivia, or maybe they even just say, I won. They want to wear those proudly around their vacation. So um, we did not win, but we were paired up with some, with another couple, uh, and it was 90s music trivia. So it was definitely a good tag team going on there because we were born in the early 90s, but obviously like the 90s music was a little bit more of, you know, not not really for us at the time. We're more 2000s kids, but we've heard the 90s music. So anyways, that was trivia. We didn't win, but we had lots of fun. And Pirate Night, lots of energy. The kids were excited. We were laughing. It was a good time. The menu is just not a menu that really is for us in our food preferences. Um, there was lots of seafood and I'm sure that it was wonderful. We are just not seafood eaters. Um, however, we are enjoying our experience at the rotational dining. So we did decide that instead of going to Paolo for dinner tomorrow night, we canceled that and we are going to go to Animator's Palette because that menu sounds fantastic and we love our dining team. So shout out to Pradeep and Made. They are fantastic. Just everyone has made our experience so wonderful and we're excited to see them again on our last night. So that is the night so far and it continues on. and then now they're playing Enchanted on Funnel Vision. And we don't know where we're going. We're gonna try to find a game to play. Well, we ended up finding crazy karaoke in one of the adult lounges. So that was very entertaining to watch. And there were some actually some really good singers out there. So that was fun, but it is, it is late. It is almost midnight and we're ready to call it a day. Uh, we've really enjoyed the brief fireworks, but they were just a nice extra special touch. And I was overhearing a conversation in one of the elevators that um, somebody said she thinks they're going to bring the pirate fireworks back soon. So I think that the pirate show and fireworks are maybe something totally separate that has not made its way back to the ships yet. So we definitely didn't see a pirate show. We had more of an experience in our dining room tonight so um, I think that they added that in maybe to kind of make up for the the um, top deck show that currently isn't going on but we love the fireworks and again they were really brief like five minutes if that um, but we enjoyed them and they were special so thank you so much for watching today tomorrow is our final day on the cruise final full day um, and it is our day at sea so there will be lots going on so I will see you guys then Bye.